Even if you're new to desktop virtualization, the goal of obtaining a desktop virtualization certification is an excellent learning path on your journey to implement desktop virtualization solutions at your company. And you may be saying, whoa, whoa, hold on, I'm brand new to desktop virtualization. I can't just go out and get a certification. Well, I'm not saying you take the test today. I'm saying that VMware and these other companies I'll talk about in just a second have entry-level certifications related to desktop virtualization. So what you can do is you can take the blueprint for their certification exams and you can say, okay, these are all the things that I need to learn about uh, related to desktop virtualization. So it gives you this learning path, this list of topics that are very important for the certification you can then go and study those and then to prove to yourself and to potential employers that yes you know desktop virtualization you can go and take one of these certification tests so these aren't advanced certification exams on desktop virtualization these are relatively entry level desktop virtualization certification so VMware has the VCA DT or the VMware certified associate on desktop virtualization no training course is required from VMware and there's no other certification prerequisites so what that means is that you could do self-study for the VCA desktop you could download the 60-day evaluation of VMware view and VMware thin app uh, and you could build your own home lab and then learn about desktop virtualization at very little cost and then go out and prove to yourself that you know the topic by taking the certification exam now above the VCA, VMware has the granddaddy of virtualization certifications, which is the VCP, the VMware Certified Professional. Now for the VCP, VMware does require that you take one of their uh, education courses before you can take the exam. But once you have a VCP, you could then go for the new VCP desktop, which is a desktop virtualization certification, but it's at the mid-level or it's a more advanced level than the VCA is. So VMware has at least two different tiers of desktop virtualization certifications for you to choose from if you're interested in proving your knowledge about VMware View. Moving on, Microsoft has a desktop virtualization certification. Uh, their MCTS, or the Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist, has a desktop virtualization configuration specialty. So you can go and you can do self-study for the MCTS in desktop virtualization as well and then take their certification exam. Now above that they've got a more mid-level tier certification but it's more in general virtualization or really in server virtualization so it's the MCITP or the Microsoft Certified IT Professional it's the Enterprise Administrator Virtualization Administrator on uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 which is really Hyper-V and of course there's multiple certification exams to the MCITP it's not just a single exam but first you will have had to have achieved the MCTS and you could choose your specialty in desktop virtualization moving on to Citrix and their desktop virtualization certifications they offer what they call a CCA as well as a CCAA so they've got the CCA which is the Citrix Certified Administrator in desktop and application virtualization which of course is really Zen desktop and Zen app and then they have the CCAA in application virtualization which is the Citrix certified advanced administrator um, also in Zen desktop and Zen app so you've got quite a few options here available for desktop virtualization certification available from Microsoft VMware and Citrix uh, a lot of great entry-level exams since you're just getting started with desktop virtualization and a lot of options to do self-study as well so you don't have to go out and take some expensive education course and I'll be talking about video training options for these various uh, desktop virtualization certifications here in just a minute but first I want to talk about the different vendor websites and what sort of resources they have available uh, when it comes to learning about desktop virtualization uh, whether it's VMware, Microsoft, or Citrix, I want to tell you first off, they have a ton of resources out there. Uh, they have getting started guides, they have how-to guides, they have knowledge base articles, they have case studies, they have uh, TCO and ROI calculators, they have free evaluations. Uh, so there's a ton of information available from VMware, from Microsoft, here's their desktop virtualization um, homepage, and then from Citrix as well. So I encourage you to check out the three different uh, big vendor websites to learn more about what they have to offer you, what sort of free resources they have.
And then there's a lot of free blogger websites out there as well, starting off with trainsignaltraining.com. That's the official blog of TrainSignal. And we have how-to articles and videos across all the different IT specializations, including desktop virtualization. There's my blog, vmwarevideos.com, and I post uh, virtualization videos of all kinds on the blog. There's ntpro.nl, which is Eric Sleuth's blog. He's a VMware certified instructor, and he posts a ton of great how-to videos and articles, uh, many related to desktop virtualization. Uh, there's yellowbricks.com, which is Duncan Epping's blog. He actually works for VMware, and he posts a, a lot of great, uh, very technical articles about VMware View and uh, other uh, server virtualization articles, of course, related to vSphere. There's VMware's Planet V12N, which is actually a aggregation engine of all different sorts of articles from many different blogs. Many are related to desktop virtualization. There's vSphereLand.com, which is Eric Siebert's blog. And it's really sort of a virtualization directory of all different sorts of uh, virtualization resources, many related to desktop virtualization. When it comes to social media and virtualization, uh, Twitter is one of the best communities out there of virtualization uh, people or virtualization professionals. Um, I've got a list of over 500 people um, called just virtualization. If you go to that URL right there on Twitter, you can sign up to follow my list and you'll get a ton of uh, real-time information. You can ask questions of those virtualization experts and it's a very active virtualization community. There's also search virtual desktop.techtarget.com. This is Tech Target's um, homepage for uh, virtual desktops and desktop virtualization. And they post a lot of great how to and technical articles uh, from desktop virtualization experts around the world. And then finally, there's BrianMadden.com. Brian Madden is really a, a desktop session and application virtualization uh, guru who's been around for many years. And he's got a great blog where he covers um, un, in an unbiased way all the different vendors, uh, comparison solutions, and has how-to articles as well. So there's a ton of great blogger websites out there for you to check out. I hope you'll consider uh, taking a look at some of these, subscribing to their newsletter or their RSS feed, uh, whatever you might do to stay up to date on the latest unbiased news about virtualization. Now, besides blogs, there's a lot of podcasts and video casts that you can check out. Uh, John Troyer, who works for VMware, has a weekly community podcast. It's live every Wednesday at noon Pacific time uh, over on TalkShoe. And you can even join in. You can ask questions. And he has uh, virtualization experts um, from VMware primarily come on to talk about the latest technology related to virtualization and desktop virtualization. And then there's the VChat, which is a video chat covering virtualization topics, including desktop virtualization uh, between myself, Eric Siebert, and Simon Seagrave, all VMware V experts. And we post these periodically on my website, and you can also subscribe uh, via iTunes. And then there's Cody Bunch's Brown Bags. He's the blogger from professionalvmware.com. He's also a VMware V expert and a VMware Press book author. And he has bi-monthly webinars that are completely free. You can join in, and whatever the topic is for that webinar, um, you can ask questions live from whoever the guest speaker is for that session. You can find those over at professionalvmware.com slash brownbags. And then Mike Laverick has what he calls chinwags. Mike's Chinwags are interviews with uh, virtualization experts, and uh, being as Mike has a book on VMware View, uh, many of his Chinwags also have to do with desktop virtualization. A lot of great podcast and videocast resources for you there. And now let's move on, and let's talk about video training options from TrainSignal related to desktop virtualization. TrainSignal does offer an excellent VMware View administration course. This is great preparation for your VCA desktop certification. Again, there's no VMware education course required. You can use this video training option, um, build your own home lab, get some hands-on experience, and then go out and take the VCA desktop certification test. It's by Brian Knutson, who is a great guy. He has tons of real-world experience on desktop virtualization. Uh, he is, he's also a V-expert and a triple VCP. Then we have Citrix Zen Desktop 5 training from Elias Knaser. 
Um, Eli, as they call him, is also a VMware V expert. He's got Microsoft and a ton of Cisco CCA, CCEA, VMware VCP, and even Cisco CCNA certifications. He's extremely knowledgeable. He has a lot of real-world experience, and this is a great training option if you're interested in learning about Citrix Zen Desktop. Moving on, we've got a video training course on Microsoft Server Virtualization from Microsoft Certified Trainer Ed Lieberman. Um, he's got years of experience with Microsoft Solutions, and in this training course he covers Microsoft Hyper-V and System Center Virtual Machine Manager. It's not exclusively a desktop virtualization training course, but if you're interested in Microsoft's virtualization solutions, this is the video training course for you.